here we are critiquing another vegan what I eat in a day, aka how many nonsense products can I fit into one video so that I can afford this ridiculous lifestyle. And judging by the description, we got uh, quite a few sponsorships. So let's get started. I guess that's like a not so subtle sponsorship. Like she's not directly announcing it, but you know, product placement like that gets you thinking. I must say the classical music is a nice touch compared to the uh, I'm saving starving children in Africa music, uh, which is kind of weird considering she's in a $5,000 a month like apartment being funded by her stock trader boyfriend, but uh, go figure. Hello, I hope this video finds you well and you're having a peaceful morning as well, or whatever time of day it is, I hope you are doing okay. Recently, I have really been savoring the everyday events over <laughs> I had no idea she had a boyfriend that looked like a stock trader, I swear to God. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> like social media sort of idealizes going, going, going. Maybe it's my cancer son, but honestly, I love just- Oh my God, she's talking about horoscopes already. This is fucking comical. She's in like this beautiful mountainside house sitting like, oh my God, I can't, I can't. This is, this is like- what she's trying to convince her viewers that you're gonna live like if you follow this bullshit diet when she's just making money off of thousands and thousands of people so she can live like this exploring my home and finding the natural beauty that is there i am really blessed to live in a totally gorgeous place though i am not going to lie but that being said, I am a total overachiever sometimes, and I'm. Yeah, how many of those trees can fit in your gigantic head, lying mouth? Present moment, so Jesus. I've really been trying to savor small things like hanging out with Dylan in the morning, moving my body to feel good and not for a specific goal, or even just slowing down and enjoying parts of my morning routine, like the feeling of warm water as it hits my skin, or even just massaging my daily skincare routine into my skin and taking. I don't. I don't I don't get this stuff like like this is like Hitomi level nonsense except this girl is somewhat like legible like the feeling of warm water on my skin when I take a shower who comes up with this shit oh my god you must really have nothing to think about you know you can tell these girls have never worked a real job or have nothing hard to do in their day-to-day -day life if they're thinking of how warm the shower water feels when it hits their skin jesus give me a fucking break taking a few extra minutes oh, shit. to relax which sort of brings me to our sponsor today which is ritual i never thought i would enjoy taking vitamins so much but i love these i take the women's multivitamin 18 plus and all i have to do is take two it does look kind of creepy like some weird sci-fi stuff they would make you take to control your brain. And uh, the name Ritual for a company, like, you know, like it's a ritual, you know. <laughs> I wonder who owns a supplement company named Ritual. Maybe they're doing some rituals themselves. Fucking weirdos, man. Two a day. I love taking my Ritual multivitamin because it's catered specifically to me and it has everything that I am looking for in a multivitamin that is also vegan friendly, which can be hard to find. We both have really been happy with taking them. So okay, okay, so, so who looks more feminine here? Like like, like who's bending over later that night? Let's be honest. Like, like, like if we had to place bets, it, it wouldn't all be on the guy being the, you know, being the man in the relationship. So if you want to try Ritual out, you can use code KATES10 for 10% off of your first three months. They have a ton of different supplements depending on your season of life, so be sure to check it out. I'll have the link below. I took my smoothie that I made earlier. So we did a whole video on multivitamins and why they're bad for you. And uh, I mean, I could probably break down that Ritual nonsense, but it's kind of crazy. You know, you wonder what the markup on those supplements can be if they're paying uh, mongoloids like this to, uh, to show their products. Let's see what's in the smoothie. Here on the road, and I'm actually meeting up with Jasmine and Chris of Sweet Simple Vegan. We are going on our annual pumpkin patch trip for fall. We've gone to this spot, I think this is our fourth year now. Um, so it's fun. And Dylan actually just drove separately because he has a work meeting in town afterwards, and I have to run my own <laughs> errands. So he should be here. Funding the nonsense lifestyle. Into the pumpkin patch.
<laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> if I had a girlfriend that looked like that and was doing this while I was at work, I would blow my brains out. 100%. Oh, wait. He, what's the cuck doing? Yeah, you wish your girlfriend was as light as that pumpkin. Oh, yeah, with those giant mitts, I'm sure you could pick that pumpkin up. You lifted it up easier than your boyfriend did. Orange bumps and green bumps. Another green lumpy guy. I wonder if I can pick it up. And she lifts it up as easy as the cup of coffee in the morning. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's funny. At least act the part. This side is prettier. What? Oh my god, what an ugly pumpkin. Classic orange. Plus three minis. I think her skin's gonna be the color of that ugly ass pumpkin if she keeps following this diet for a few more years. Those ducks are looking pretty green in that pond. Does that make them vegan? Vegan Thai food. Ran some errands. Spending more of your boyfriend's money. Is there a vegan that doesn't own pets? Like, is there a vegan that isn't feeding their pets enough meat that, that could be feeding themselves as opposed to starving half to death? You know? Like, we know they're not stupid enough to feed their animals vegan dog food. Am I being mean today, guys? Am I being a little too mean? I mean, I mean they kind of deserve it, you know? For convincing thousands of people that you shouldn't follow this nonsense diet. <laughs> oh, they bought the ugly, the ugly pumpkin that resembles her skin color. So look at that. The sun has set and I'm about to get started on dinner. I'm going to be making my one pot vegan mushroom stroganoff. I'm actually going to be filming this for work. Um, I have a filming set up in the basement. So that's why everything's on a baking tray. I'm about to take it down there and then we're going to have it for dinner. I'm also going to crack open one of these pumpkin spice hard ciders that I found at the grocery store. It's like a seasonal thing. And it's pretty good. It tastes more like apple pie to me because the spices, like the pumpkin's not too strong, which I actually prefer. Dinner is served. Dinner is served. Mm -hmm. Oh, she didn't show what was really in that dinner too much. And, and you know, one thing about vegans is that I think they drink a lot of alcohol that they don't really show. So not only, you know, is their vegan lifestyle completely destroying their body, then they're consuming incredibly large amounts of alcohol because it's calorically dense and it's something they do to enjoy as well as kind of mask how depressing a vegan diet is. I mean, I'm assuming it's the basic stroganoff ingredients. You got mushrooms, you got onions, which are perfectly good, but you probably have some pseudo vegetable broth and some pasta. You know, granted, everything's organic. You know, it might not be too bad for you, but you know, you're missing the animal protein. That's what makes something like a stroganoff sustainable, something you'd actually want to eat during the winter. Cashew milk. And then because the vegetable broth is a paste, you can just add it in. How are we playing? I don't get it, man. He's he's tall. He's pretty decent looking. I mean, I don't know. I'm not that great of a judge of guys, but what's he doing with uh, ugh, uh you know? Corners? Kings of corner. Kings in the corner. I think British people say kings corner. Kings corner. Maybe she injects him with her, uh, her, her soy baton every night. <laughs> she has him addicted to the, uh, the estrogen on a daily basis. Oh, that's the card I needed. All right. Two out of three. <laughs> her voice is deeper than his. I can't, I can't watch this shit. I'm sorry, guys. I know I've been mean today, but I can't stand this shit. Hold on. They're having some sort of snack too. What are they having? Are they eating something? Oh, he's eating something. Protein powder and the chocolate? They're okay. I've had better, but I've also had worse. Any final words, sir? Um, good night. <laughs> oh my god, he sounds... Oh my god. 
I thought I was joking when I said her voice is deeper than his. I guess I wasn't. Well, I mean, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I mean, <laughs> I can't believe, I, I just can't believe that any of these viewers are real. Okay, they're talking about the beautiful view. Okay. They're talking about how nice the house is. Okay. As long as they're not talking about how great the food is. I'm okay with it. I can't. I can't imagine th these people make like any significant amount of money off these sponsorships. Like this video was posted yesterday. You have 800,000 subscribers. You're, what did I just click on? Oh no, they got me. They got me, guys. Ritual got me. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me today. You can go to frank-defano.com to support some legitimate businesses that aren't selling you snake oil and garbage produce. Uh, you could also drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell uh, so they don't notify you of my videos. And what's hilarious, I was just thinking of a comment that someone left on that Imperfect Foods video. It was like the most obvious show comment ever. It was like, oh, stop talking shit about legitimate businesses when your own businesses are failing. I was I was laughing for like two minutes straight. I was like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna, guys, I'm gonna start going dumpster diving at my local uh, supermarkets and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll start Frankie, <laughs> what should we call the company? Frankie's Garbage, based in New York. It comes with rats in the box if you order it.